fired FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe knew a Hillary Clinton campaign lawyer was acting on behalf of an unidentified client when he gave the Fed's information purporting to show a connection between former President Donald Trump and Russia, Justice Department notes suggest in a new court filing. In a five-page order issued Friday ahead of jury selection, Washington, D.C., Judge Christopher Cooper also said the lawyer, Michael Sussman, may be allowed to use the notes for his defense at the trial set to start Monday. And if the defense believes in good faith that it will be able to lay a proper foundation for the notes, it is free to mention them in its opening statement, Cooper ruled. The notes were made by two top Justice Department officials about a March 2017 briefing of then-acting Attorney General Dana Bente on the FBI's various Russia-related investigations, including the allegations that Sussman brought to the Bureau in September 2016. Sussman is charged with lying to the government by claiming he wasn't acting on behalf of any client when he gave then-FBI General Counsel James Baker since debunked reports and data that reportedly revealed a secret back channel between a Trump Organization computer server and Russia's Alpha Bank. Special Counsel John Durham alleges that Sussman was actually working on behalf of both Clinton's campaign and Rodney Yoffa, a tech executive who alerted him to the data. Evidence compiled by Durham includes notes that allegedly back up the charge against Sussman and were made by two FBI officials, Bill Priestep and Tricia Anderson, about a meeting with Baker shortly after his sit-down with Sussman. But the notes made by Mary McCord and Tassina Gauhar about the March 6, 2017, briefing suggests that Mr. McCabe advised the group that the Alpha Bank allegations were shared with the FBI by an attorney, on behalf of his client or by an attorney who had a client, but did slash and not say who, the, client was, Cooper wrote. Sussman's lawyers have also said that more than 300 FBI email chains they reviewed show the feds knew he worked for Democratic campaigns, according to the Washington Post. Cooper said McCord and Galhar's notes about McCabe's remarks present a hearsay problem, in part because Mr. McCabe is not on either party's witness list, and, apparently, neither of the note-takers, who are expected to testify, clearly remember him making the statement at the meeting. But he said their notes could potentially be used in court if they meet certain criteria, including having been made contemporaneously with the conversation and not after the fact. Final decision on the notes' admissibility won't be made until trial, said the judge who was nominated by former President Barack Obama. McCabe, a frequent target of criticism by former President Donald Trump, was fired in March 2018 following a probe that found he made an unauthorized disclosure to the news media and lacked candor, including under oath, on multiple occasions. The leak led to a 2016 Wall Street Journal story about an FBI investigation into Clinton and the Clinton Foundation, and McCabe, who denied being the source, was later revealed to have apologized to the agents who spent weeks trying to track down the leaker. McCabe was fired two days before his 50th birthday, when he planned to return upon becoming eligible for a full pension. In October, the DOJ agreed to grant McCabe the pension and about $200,000 in missed payments to help settle a suit in which he alleged his firing was politically motivated. Meanwhile, a former New York Times reporter who's on Sussman's witness list wants Cooper to prevent Durham's team from cross-examining him on anything other than his communications with the embattled lawyer. In a Thursday night court filing, lawyers for Eric Lichtblau said he's worried that prosecutors may ask him about other reporting he did on Trump's purported ties to Russia. Durham obtained emails between Lichtblau and unidentified third parties and the journalist's lawyers said questions about them would violate his First Amendment right to protect his sources. A previous ruling by Cooper should also block questions about the Lichd Blau's emails because it limited the evidence Durham can introduce about an uncharged conspiracy involving Sussman, Clinton's campaign and the Fusion GPS research company to publicize the Alpha Bank allegations. Sussman met with Lichd Blau shortly before meeting with Baker and Lichtblau co-authored a New York Times story titled, Investigating Donald Trump, F. B.I. sees no clear link to Russia, which was published eight days before the 2016 election.
Cooper has yet to rule on Lich Blau's request. Washington, AP, a jury was picked Monday in the trial of a lawyer for the Hillary Clinton presidential campaign who was accused of lying to the FBI as it investigated potential ties between Donald Trump and Russia in 2016. The case against Michael Sussman, a cybersecurity attorney who represented the Clinton campaign in 2016, is the first trial arising from the ongoing investigation by special counsel John Durham and will test the strength of evidence he and his team have gathered while scrutinizing the early days of the Trump-Russia probe for potential misconduct. Sussman appeared in court with his lawyers Monday as both sides worked to select jurors to hear the case, which is expected to last about two weeks. Prospective jurors who had already filled out questionnaires filed one by one into the courtroom to answer follow-up questions about topics including political contributions during the 2016 election and their opinions on lawyers and the criminal justice system. The jury was finalized soon after 5 p.m. on Monday. Opening statements are set for Tuesday. The case alleges a single false statement by Sussman, but the stakes are high nonetheless. An acquittal is likely to hasten questions about the Durham probe's purpose and cost to taxpayers while a guilty verdict will almost certainly energize Trump supporters who have long looked to Durham to expose what they see as biased treatment of the former president. Sussman is accused of misleading the FBI's then-general counsel during a September 2016 meeting in which he presented research showing what he said might be a suspicious back channel of communications between computer servers of the Trump Organization and Russia-based Alpha Bank. Prosecutors allege Sussman lied by saying that he wasn't attending the meeting on behalf of any particular client when they say he was actually acting on behalf of two clients the Clinton campaign and a technology executive who had helped assemble the computer data. Durham's team says that had the FBI been told the truth, it would have factored into the Bureau's assessment of the credibility of the Alpha Bank claims as it weighed whether to begin investigating. The FBI did look into the matter but ultimately found nothing suspicious. Sussman's lawyers deny he lied but say the alleged misstatement isn't relevant in any event since there's no evidence that what the FBI knew or didn't know about his political affiliations had any bearing on its decision making about whether to investigate. Durham was appointed in 2019 by then Attorney General William Barr to look for any misconduct as the U. S. government was examining potential coordination between Russia and the 2016 Trump campaign to tip the outcome of the election. An investigation by an earlier special counsel, Robert Mueller, did not find a criminal conspiracy between Russia and the Trump campaign though it did find that Russia sought to aid Trump's election bid. The Alpha Bank matter was a peripheral part of the FBI's investigation and the allegations of furtive contact were not even mentioned in Mueller's 2019 report. Durham's work has resulted in three criminal cases, but only the one against Sussman has reached trial. In 2020, a former FBI lawyer named Kevin Kleinsmith pleaded guilty to altering an email related to secret FBI surveillance of an ex-Trump campaign advisor, Carter Page. In applying for warrants to eavesdrop on Page, the FBI relied on research files of anti-Trump information known colloquially as the Steele dossier that contained rumors and uncorroborated claims. Last year, Durham charged a Russia analyst who was a source for that dossier with lying to the FBI about his own sources of information, among them, a longtime Hillary Clinton supporter. Igor Danchenko has pleaded not guilty. The case is pending.